Okay. So, what you basically do is download the image file from the Dragon OS Pi64 website, you burn it to like an SD card, you pop it into your Raspberry Pi. You basically need like a, a 400 or a Pi 4 basically to do this. And, because it's just, I don't think it works in a Pi 3 or it's just too very slow. And, and then you just wire in your, your Raspberry Pi is normally with, with your mouse, your monitor, power. And then you plug in your SDR equipment, either like an RTL dongle or what I use as a Hack RF. It also works with other ones like the SDR Play and etc. Et Most of the popular ones are already supported in the Dragon OS. So all like the, the drivers and, and the software is already pre-installed for you. So it's just a case of turning it all on. And you can you, then you can start playing around with it. So this is what the uh, screen's like, basically. And again, it's, it's a operating system anyway, but uh, I think it's Ubuntu, which is basically a Linux uh, distro. And but it's all got kind of like pre kind of software that you would need to do SDR stuff. The GNU radio. There's other programs so looking at different parts of the spectrum. There's some other stuff as well. Like even there's even like Wireshark and all that. It's basic other software as well that you would use. Um, Basically, how I would use it is, I basically tend to use this. Uh, this is a spectrum analyzer. Now, I, I've set it to like Hacker F Sweep because it's, it's quite good at doing this, and you can actually sweep from one megahertz up to six gigahertz. Uh, but I'm only doing from one to twelve hundred, just for now. So if I start that, bum bum bum. And you can do stuff like max hold and, and if you get rid of smooth and then, so I like the smoothing on and then I like the max hold on because then I can see little peaks here where there's like signals present. And I'll look at this again. Jeez. 420. This stuff here is basically mobile phone mass signals. 300. Probably there as well as like the 900 ones as well. So you find some interesting signals. What would you find them? What was it? What do you want it? 420 odd. So you'd quit that program and then to have a closer look, you would use other programs. I call this Cubic SDR. Bring that up, give it a minute or two. Uh, let it find my icon F. Uh, it's 420. So we get all these kind of weird signals over here, which I have no idea what they are. Uh, the modulation of here. And obviously with that, I mean, look to see what they were off using the internet. And see so if see what was actually broadcasting in that area. you found that kind of interesting and thank you very much